This is, tell me when you got it, this, this particular record was recorded, uh, and you'll notice that it's not jazz, it's jazz, J-A-S-S. -S. It's before they really knew what to call it. And uh, this was the original Dixieland Jazz Band. They actually were a band from New Orleans of white guys that were inspired by, well, they'll, they'll tell you that they invented it. It's a big controversy. Mm -hmm. My take is that it was a lot of African-American music. Uh, musicians that uh, started it with influences of Europe. But these guys, you know, they were active from about 1915 on. This was the first jazz record ever made, ever recorded um, of New Orleans jazz. It was released a little bit later. What happened is when they went to Columbia Records to make this, Columbia initially rejected it because it was too wild. It was They never heard anything like it. And then what happened is they became very successful playing at a place called Reisenweber's in New York. And everyone was going there to dance to them. So RCA Victor, it was back then just called Victor, they signed them up and they had a very successful series of records. And then Columbia said, hey, you know, let's release the one that we did that we rejected because they're popular now. But this was the first one ever, ever recorded. By the original Dixie. It's amazing that you have that. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a beautiful copy, as you see. Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. It's gonna sound strange. Oh no. Not very well recorded, but. <laughs> That's the first jazz record. There are a lot of us in the jazz class. old and far away, right? All right, well, you don't have to have the whole thing, but that's a bit of it. <laughs> and so these records are, uh, I've been collecting these records all my life, and what we really have here is mainly jazz and blues and gospel from the 1920s and early 1930s. And, uh, you know, it's a constant process, as you see. This is where I come to to let off steam and relax and, and you know, like anybody that's got a hobby. Mm -hmm. What is your most prized possession in this room? Um, oh, boy, there's so many of them. Uh, I have the Creole Vowels over there. Yeah, that's a uh, great uh, mar March two-step sort of ragtime thing. Get I, I had one record that I don't have any longer that... Um, was the only known copy of something called Zulu's Ball, which was done by King Oliver. Uh, King Oliver, when Louis, young Louis Armstrong was playing second cornet with him. And this was a recording made on the Jeanette label. And for some reason, only one copy ever turned up. And I owned that copy for a while, but I owned it with a friend of mine. And He's like okay. we said, well, who's going to keep it? So he would send it for me with me for six months. I'd send it back to him, and then we just decided let's sell it. So we wound up selling it. That was probably the rarest and and most legendary uh, record. It was on the Jeanette label, uh, and um, the only known copy to this day it was ever found. So I owned it for about two years. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh.